Hello, my name is Rem, and I am a Radiant Valorant player. So I personally know how frustrating it is to get in-game stutters or FPS drops. So today, I'm going to do a guide on how to boost your FPS and make it run as smooth as possible. What a lot of people don't know is that Valorant doesn't always run well by default, and that's why today I've came up with a guide for you guys to help you get the best performance possible out of your current setup. Keep in mind, while I currently get around 400 to 600 FPS in the range with this guide, the results will be different for everyone, because we will have different hardware, and Valorant is a very CPU based game. I currently have a Ryzen 5 3600, and if this video helped you out, be sure to help me out by liking and subscribing, and also comment below what type of educational content you'd like to see next. Jumping right into the guide, the first thing you want to do is go to your Xbox game bar and turn it off. This takes a lot of CPU usage and pretty much does nothing for you while playing Valorant. Next, click Graphic Settings and turn on Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. This will make your GPU work a little harder and take a little less strain off your CPU, increasing your FPS. Next, what you're going to click is Browse, Windows, Ride Games, Valorant, Live, then finally click Valorant again. Then click your options and set it to high performance. Then click Browse again, click Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, Valorant Win64 and also set it to high performance. Now press your Windows key and search for your power and sleep settings. Once you're there, click additional power settings and change that to high performance. Now, while in your settings tab, search for background apps and simply turn them all off. There's a ton of apps that run in the background that you will never use and take up unwanted CPU usage. While we're on the topic of turning off apps, what we're going to do is search up startup apps and turn them all off. A lot of programs such as Steam will start when your PC boots up and sometimes even update games while you're trying to play, causing FPS drops as well as internet issues. What you're going to want to do next is go back to your desktop and right click on Valorant. Go to properties and click the compatibility tab and turn off everything but disable full screen optimization. Then. Click DPI settings and click override high DPI scaling. Now what you're going to want to do is go back to your search bar again and search settings. Then click system and then the about tab at the bottom of your screen and go to advanced system settings. Click settings under performance and under visual effects I turn everything but show thumbnails and smooth edges off. This one will change the way your windows look visually, so play around with these settings if you don't like the way they look after. Next in your windows search bar, search run and type in app data. Then go to local, valorant, saved, config, and a bunch of accounts you've used will pop up. So this is going to be more of a trial and error thing to figure out which account you're updating these settings on. Click game user settings and scroll down until you find scalability groups and replace all the threes with zeros. This forces your game to run in the lowest graphics settings possible and this will increase your FPS by a lot. Next, if you have a Nvidia card or an AMD card, make sure to fully update all of your drivers and make sure they're up to date. Sometimes there can be some latency issues due to outdated drivers. Very important aspect of this video is your NVIDIA settings. So right click on your desktop and hit NVIDIA control panel and go to manage 3D settings. I'm going to show you guys all the settings that I use and you can copy them but the most important ones in my opinion is texture filtering on high performance, preferred refresh rate on highest available and power management mode for maximum performance. Now we're going to hop straight into my in-game settings. First of all, if you aren't already, make sure your game is running in full screen mode as full screen windowed and windowed mode are linked to input delay and less FPS. Also make sure to turn on your Nvidia Reflex low latency, I have it on plus boost. And then I have multi-core rendering turned on and everything else I will have at the lowest settings possible and everything else is turned off except bloom because that will make your skins look cooler. And that's just the only reason. <laughs>
So that about does it for all the settings you need and you can now restart your PC for all those changes in the Windows settings to take effect. And once your PC starts back up, you will have a much more optimized PC. These Windows settings should help increase your FPS in other games as well, such as Fortnite, Apex Legends, and uh, yeah. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I do hope these settings help you out. I really do like to help other people out, and I want to make other people's video game experience better. And if you did find this video helpful, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions or concerns, you can leave them in the comment section, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I also do have my Discord link in the description if you'd like to chat with me that way. And have a great day, and peace out.